Boy, I sure do love shopping at Costco. I can get top quality ingredients, all at a reasonable price. And as much as I enjoy Costco's big bulk consumerism unironically, yeah, Coke Connie. Is it really worth paying $60 for a Costco membership? I mean, are you the kind of person who needs a 35 pound bag of dog food, a six pack of Cornish game hens, or a 30 pack of toilet paper rolls? Well, I do, but maybe you don't lay as many wet farts as I do. But despite all of this, I think you should still pay the 60 bucks for a Costco membership just to buy one thing. Costco gasoline. What, you thought this was gonna be about the chicken bake? Pfft, nah. I can show you how to make that at home for free. Now let's take care of the ingredient that'll take the longest to make, the dough. Specifically pizza dough. That's what Costco uses, and that's what we're gonna make. And if, and listen, I know I made a no need pizza dough a while back, and if you wanna make that, that's fine. Nah, it's overkill for what we're doing. So, regular middle of the road pizza dough will do. Uh, oh, and, uh, and since pizza dough is a yeast based bread, let's start off with the yeast. I have here a cup and a half of warm water, to which I'm gonna dissolve two teaspoons worth of sugar. Next, let's add one packet or two and a half teaspoons of yeast. And let's give these little yeasties a moment to waken up from their cryogenic grave. Then let's add three cups of flour to a stand mixer with the hook attachment. One and a half teaspoons of salt and a tablespoon of olive oil. And yes, I am aware of the irony. Please shut up. Our yeasties have come alive. Oh, I'm such a proud father right now. Anyway, you're gonna go in a hot oven soon, so let's just add you to our bowl. Okay, let's lower our hook attachment. Mix on low until it all comes together. Okay, since we're gonna need gluten, let's crank up the mixer to max. And knead it for about five minutes. Okay, I think it's been long enough. Let's turn off our mixer. Take our bowl, cover it with a tea towel, and let this rest and rise for about an hour. Okay, so I have here a medium-sized saute pan, and I'm gonna set that over medium-high heat. Anyway, let's add one pound of chopped bacon to a pan. And uh, let's brown this up until it's nice and cooked. Okay, once the bacon looks nice and red, transfer to a paper towel lined plate. And uh, let's dump out most, not all, but most of the fat. Next, let's add two chicken breasts to our pan. I already seasoned them with salt and pepper off screen. Okay, uh, you don't need me to hold your hand. You know how to season chicken. Whoa, Smokey, I'm gonna turn on the hood. Ten Cook these for five minutes on each side. It's been five minutes. Let and let that go for another five minutes. All right, 10 minutes are up. Transfer them to a paper plate. Okay, let's set these aside so they can cool. Okay, and while the chicken cools, let's begin work on our creamy Caesar dressing. To a medium sized bowl, let's add one cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, two cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons lemon juice, one teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Notice how I did not mispronounce it for an overused joke. Take note. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. 
Finally, one teaspoon of anchovy paste. Meep. Except I don't have any anchovy paste. <laughs> but I got the next best thing. Asian fish sauce. It's also made from anchovies. It'll do well in a pinch. So add one teaspoon of anchovies or a teaspoon and a half of fish sauce. And finally, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Whisk everything together. All right, and there's only one way to taste test Caesar dressing, and that's with a knife. Keeping it nice and authentic. Perfect. Okay, our chicken is cooked down. Let's cut it widthwise. Oh, no, don't be scared if the chicken's slightly undercooked. Once we put it in the oven, it'll fully cook through. Huh, according to my magical invisible watch, an hour has passed, so... Sorry. So... Sorry, Mr. Time Card. I'm not going to need you this episode. <laughs> what a little bitch. Anyway, our pizza dough is nice and risen. So I'm going to... Dust the top with flour, bunch it down, flour our work surface. Now let's take our dough ball, cut it into three equal pieces, roll it out nice and flat. Uh, you might need to dust the rolling pin, that's fine. Okay, once it's about a centimeter thick, we can begin our chicken bake. Okay, first things first, let's layer on our creamy Caesar dressing. Oh, don't go over, oh, don't go over all of it. Make sure there's some uh, blank space. Next, let's pile on our chicken. Some of our bacon. A dusting of grated Parmesan. A super generous helping of shredded mozzarella. And finally, why not, a little drizzle of our creamy dressing. All right, fold it. All right, take one end, fold it over like this. Take the other, do the same. And roll it up nice and tightly. Place it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Okay, I'm gonna, all right, let's jump cut the rest and, all right, I have three chicken bakes all lined up, ready to go. Actually, no, you still need to do one more thing. So, let's coat these with egg wash. Take an egg, beat it with some water, boom, egg wash. Oh, my second camera wasn't recording. You know, I'll just recreate it in post. Finally, let's give everything a nice sprinkling with some grated Parmesan. Okay, and it's ready for the oven. All right, let's set our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Are the policemen in your country paid more through bribes than their actual salary? The number you're looking for is 230 degrees Celsius. Place our chicken bakes in the middle of our 450 degree oven. and let it cook for 30 minutes. Well, this is awkward. I guess I do need the time card after all. Um. Okay, it's been half an hour. Our chicken bakes are nice and cooked. Uh, now let's let them cool. Boy, is this gonna be difficult. Now you know how to make the chicken bake, and you don't need to spend $60 on something that costs $5. But unless like Costco's hot dog, I can't. Uh, you, you know what? I'm ending the episode right here. My mouth is watering so much I can't say my lines. This has been Chase Scutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. 
If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. You know, I shouldn't really joke about infant loss, given what my family members have been through. Yeah, nothing like a little controversy to help push the video.